Hello everyone and welcome to the Extreme Tech channel. Uh, for today's video we got a 6 inch in position and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do root uh, for the x-ray quality as suggested uh, by many subscribers they gotta reach out to me so I can see this is uh, one of the issues one of the problems uh, it's uh, it's a thickness of the root especially at the bottom section so for the prep, as you can see here, I only got three tacks. It's a bridge tax, uh, nothing fancy. Yeah, I'm going to cut it out later. So the prep, prep as usual, uh, feather edge, clean couple inches from the edge uh, in and out. And for the gap, uh, gap size 532. This is what I'm usually like to use on my joints when I'm doing tigging. So for you it might work a little bit different. As long as you can wiggle 1.8 all the way around, as I can wiggle one 1.8 uh, rod all the way around, uh, this is good joint for me, good prep, especially especially at the bottom. So no tax on the bottom for this one. Uh, for the cup, cup size, uh, I'm going to go with uh, cup size 7. Uh, it fits nice inside that bevel, so I can wiggle, I can wiggle that uh, torch inside, uh, especially at the bottom. Cup size 7 and uh, tungsten is going to be 1.8, 2% toriated. Sharp edge, sharp pointed edge, this is, what I, this is what I like to do for my tungsten. And the stick out is up to 10 mil. This is uh, what I usually like to do, up to 10 mil, that's what usually it is. It's always close to 10 mil as you can see here, 9, 9 10 mil. That's what works for me. Uh, for you, it might work a little bit different. Who knows? Uh, this is for the reference. This is what I like to do when you put a cup on the top of the bevel and your uh, tungsten stick out is uh, touching uh, that edge of the bevel. This is what I usually do for uh, for a stick out. Okay, for uh, today, welding machine Miller XMT 350. This is good. Uh, good welding machine. Okay, for the settings, uh, GTAW or TIG, it's going to be a lift arc, as this machine doesn't have any option for a scratch start. That's what I usually like to do, scratch start on a carbon and a lift arc on a stainless steel. Okay, for the bottom part, uh, as I said, uh, you can wiggle that cup. And uh, the way how you feed that rod, either you can do like a back feed or you can do under the angle from the outside. And I keep it uh, constantly feeding, so constant feed. And stretch that puddle from the bottom. Uh, pay attention for your inclination, for your tungsten. Uh, once you start rolling, you don't want to dip that tungsten in the puddle, as it's really close. Or uh, you can do freehand, uh, whatever works better for you. For the freehand, I always like to do back feed that bottom section up to 9 o'clock. And then switch to walk in the cup or or uh, dipping technique this is uh, the bottom this is how i start preheat one side add rod other side connect uh, once the puddle is uh, nice and liquid then you can add that rod you keep it inside as you can see here i'm keeping it inside that root and stretch that puddle try not to dip puddle as it takes a little bit of practice if you don't do this kind of technique and you can see the edges. The edges are nice, and how they how they open nicely, so you know the edges are burned, and you push that puddle inside. As long as you keep it inside, uh, feed enough, uh, not to lose that connection. You don't have to push that much, uh, just a little bit, slightly. It's all about feeling. Once you get that uh, feeling, once you dial in, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's not a big deal uh, if you consider about a. Uh, how much you have to push, how much you have to dip. And just stretch that puddle. This is the root how it should look like. And this is what I like. I even uh, like a little bit, maybe if it's a little bit bigger, but this is good enough. As long as it's not a shallow or a flash uh, with a pipe, as long as you got a little build up, if it's, uh, 
if it's a stick out from that uh, from the from the from the pipe uh, it's a good good route so for every stop start i like to use a grinder grind it uh, i'm going to remove that tack so when you start uh, preheat once you start melting at uh, rod once you on uh, eight or nine o'clock once uh, once you on the side uh, you want to start pulling out that rod you don't want to keep it uh, too much inside as you might get uh, build up and it's going to be an even spot especially on the sides and uh, as I said just uh, just keep it connected for this section okay now we on a uh, nine o'clock now we can do uh, different uh, now you can switch to different technique uh, grind that uh, stop start make it nice and clean and uh, now you want to start from the outside you can do in the middle like uh, dipping technique in the middle stretch the puddle or you can go side to side so side to side motion uh, dipping technique on the edges uh, with that kind of technique especially on the side and up uh, you're not gonna have any issues uh, even if you got high low on your prep and you worried about the uh, x-ray and uh, trust me with dipping technique uh, you're not gonna fail any x-ray this one was in the middle stretch that puddle side to side or you can switch dipping uh, dipping that rod side to side so dip one side dip other side one side other side as I said uh, in my previous videos about this technique uh, this technique is uh, the best if you want to be on a safe page as you can see with this technique, you burn those edges, uh, you, you push that uh, material in, you're gonna have a root and you can control the amount that you actually depositing in. So it's uh, this is the 100% uh, X-ray proof. Same thing on the bottom, uh, grind uh, stop starts uh, that um, start point when you're going uh, wait uh, to start melting get ready with that rod close close you want to see it and once it start once it get that uh, puddle liquid uh, just add that rod and just keep it connected same thing on the this side uh, nine or three o'clock depends on what side you on you can then stop and switch to dipping technique and pull that rod outside uh, it's very important for the bottom section as uh, lots of people got lots of issues on, on the bottom and that is the crucial part on the route in my opinion you want to have that uh, as usually 90 99 percent people we start the route pass starting on the bottom and this is where you want to this is what you want to have for route once you know your route looks like this you are you're safe it's burned no undercuts no internal undercuts uh it's not shallow it's not uh, it's pretty much even and uniform same thing uh once i forgot to mention when you're on a side uh depends from torch you're using you can have like little pool created uh wh where you stop you want to grind that out and uh, you want to add that rod inside the pool otherwise if you add uh, too much outside it's going to be uneven stop uh, uneven start and then you're gonna see on the route stop start uh, that's why you want to once it's uh, preheat uh, when it's liquid add that rod inside just to keep that the, the same thickness and then you can slowly start pulling that rod out and on this side I'm just dipping in the middle stretch that puddle it's like a one two three technique you see you push that puddle in the middle rod and then one two three deep in the middle one two three and for the tie-in on the top pause as like for any tie-in you want to pause a little bit on the side and just go over it like half inch and it's finished on the side and that's it this is the route for the inside uh, thickness is good i like it's pretty much the same all the way around with that kind of thickness uh no worries for sag back uh, you can run really really hot on your hot pass uh, buffing wheel always clean your uh, root pass 
even if you want uh, if you got any uh, if you dip tungsten a couple times uh, you can take a grinder and you can just grind it out a little bit from the outside with the grinder and then run buffing wheel and this should be good so it doesn't show on a on an x-ray on a film as you can they can see tungsten inclusion well depends how bad is your tungsten inclusion uh, some people can break that uh, tip uh, from the tungsten it stays inside the puddle and they're gonna see it uh. and that's it for the hot pass uh, if you really want to be safe 130 amps uh, with 332 rod or you can go 140 150 amps with 18 rod and just uh, just stretch that puddle nice and easy you're gonna melt all that and then you're gonna have nice clean surface and later you can continue on whatever you're using whatever welding procedure is a stick or a TIG all the way and that's it pretty much guys as I said the uh, dipping technique uh, constant feed on the bottom and dipping technique from 9 o'clock to the top you're not gonna uh, fail any x-ray thanks for watching guys uh, and see you in the next one take care